Hey everyone, I'm Frank Jimenez with the BuildRaw team. In this video, I will walk you through on how to use the BuildRaw video hosting tool. So to get started, I've created a one-page website to show you how we'll take content from the video hosting tool and display them right in this area. Now with the BuildRaw hosting tool, you can host both video and audio content safely without having to worry that your site visitors are going to get distracted. So let me show you how. So let's go into video hosting. Now once you land on the dashboard, you're going to have the option to immediately start uploading media. Now you can upload media by selecting a folder that your media is held in in your hard drive, or you could just simply drag and drop that media right into this area. Now the other option is create a folder. This is good for, again, keeping all of your projects organized. So just to show you how this works, I'm going to go ahead and just create one folder called Project 1. Now next what I want to show you is I want to highlight everything that I've uploaded into the video hosting tool by clicking my media. Here you'll have everything, including the brand new folder that we just created. Now in addition, you have all of your video files and your audio files. Let's say maybe you have an audiobook or maybe a podcast. Well, you can simply upload that here and also separately upload that into your Cheetah website. So to get started, what I want to show you are these three categories. Now, here we are inside video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into new media. And I'm going to take a file that I already have open. I'm going to drag it right in here. And we're going to upload that. I'm going to select OK. It's 14 seconds. And you're going to see that show up right here. Now what I could do is I can click on these three dots and I'm going to have options here. I can go in and edit the media options. And here's where you can go in and you could change the title of the video. Now, just remember, when you have video displayed inside or on a web page, browsers handle videos differently. So sometimes they don't allow audio to automatically play, which is why it's very beneficial to use a countdown timer. Here you have five different themes that you can choose from. You also have the option to display the title when the video is on pause. You can also add a cover and you can also fit it to a specific fit like contain and cover. And then you can also add domains. So for this example, I feel we're pretty good with this. And now what we can do is we can go right up here, select embed code. Now, when you select embed code, you're going to have two options that you can plug into your iframe. We're going to plug in this one right here. Now, before we do that, we want to make sure that our embedded media is set exactly how we want it. So do we want this to autoplay? We can select yes or no, and I'm going to go ahead and keep it at yes. Show countdown. I'm going to go ahead and include that. Now, anytime you make a change here, just remember that your embed code changes. So once we've finalized our decision, what I want to do is I want to copy and paste this. So I'm going to copy this file. Now I'm going to go back to my Cheetah website. I'm going to bring this out here. And I already have my iframe selected, but I'm going to show you where that is right here under elements. So up at the very top, you have panels and elements. I go right back down here to iframe. I'm going to drag that iframe right into here. You're going to see this blue outline a little bit. You can probably see it better when I drag it out here. Now, when I right click on this specific element called the iframe, what I want to do is go up here to general settings. If it's not open, click on it and it will open up and then go down here. And again, you have two options. So I'm going to plug in that embed code right here, select apply, and my video is going to show up. Now you can change the video size by just taking this little blue dot here at the bottom right of your iframe and then just adjusting it exactly how you want it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select save, select that's fine. And this is how it will appear on the website. Let me make sure this is refreshed to the latest update. And if I click here, you'll hear the countdown. Now this video doesn't have any audio. And again, it was only 14 seconds. But in addition to this, I did show, or I did already go in and add two audio files. Now, again, when you click on the three dots back in your video hosting tool, 
right, where you can make the adjustments, right, they give you an option to add a cover or not have a cover when you're doing your audio files. So for this example, this one has a picture here and this one does not. So regardless, if I select any of them, this is Frank with the football team. it's going to play the audio file for you. So now what I want to do is I want to go back over here and I want to continue showing the additional options here. There's also download media. So sometimes if you can't find a specific media, which happens to me all the time, where I can't even find it in my hard drive, I can always come here and re-download it and it's going to show right down here. As you can see, I've downloaded it maybe a couple times. And now what you could do is you can select a file. Let me go ahead and select this file here and let me go to move to folder and we're going to move it to the folder that we created, which is project one. And there you go. Let's go back to movies or video. And now what I want to do next is I want to show you this file because this is the closest file I can get to a solid background. Now, let me show you why I want to do that. So what's really neat about this, before we go and show you the edit video tags and transparency, let me jump into the show media statistics. So each one of these videos, once they're hosted onto your website, you can take a look at it from two different categories. One is view duration and the other one is view count. So here, if you're seeing that a lot of your site visitors aren't watching past 25% of the video, well, those stats will show up right here. And that's going to allow you to maybe change out or try something different, okay? Next, you have three additional options that have been built in to the Builderall video hosting tool that allow you to edit and create video tags right here, as well as use the transparency function, as well as wrap your video. And that sums up how you use the Builderall video hosting tool. I hope you found the content in this video helpful. Hey, until next time, I'm Frank Jimenez with the Builderall team.